Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a sleep physician. And if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. <laughs> nice seeing you back. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope you find something of interest here. Today, we're going to talk about why you may wake up completely awake but unable to move your body. This is something I get questions about quite often in my sleep clinic. And this is not necessarily an insomnia, you know, symptom or a problem, but I do feel that, you know, worrying about this can, you know, uh, cause or, or worsen difficulty sleeping, insomnia. So what's up with this? Like, why do people, why may you sometimes wake up from sleep and feel as if you're awake, you may be able to move your eyes, but you just can't move your body. Well, this is called sleep paralysis. And, and why does that happen? Well, there are certain stages our brain can be in. There's wakefulness, and then there are different sleep stages, and the one that most people have heard about is REM sleep. Not REM sleep. When I was in my sleep fellowship, I, I, I said, oh, this person is in REM sleep. And somebody said, no, no, no. REM is a rock band. Uh, you're talking about REM sleep. So REM sleep. Now, REM sleep is actually a very active sleep. It's not a very deep sleep. Um, the, you know, a brain waves, EEG um, data shows that the, the brain is very active in REM sleep but the body is not. Well, what I mean here is that muscles are not, meaning when we are in REM sleep, our muscles are paralyzed with the exception of the, the muscles that move the eye and uh, the muscles that, um, that uh, make us breathe. Now, uh, why is that? Well, that is a mechanism of protection so that we don't act out our dreams. Uh, dreams, as you know, are often quite active. We may be running or flying or things like that. And to make sure that we don't uh, hurt ourselves when, when we are doing this, as we're acting out our dreams, our bodies are actually paralyzed when we are in REM sleep. Now, sometimes there can be a glitch. Sometimes that paralysis is spilling over into wakefulness. So we are awake, but that REM paralysis is still active. So we, we are conscious, but we cannot move our bodies. And that lasts typically for just a few seconds, but it could last up to like 15 or 20 seconds, which of course feels like an eternity when it happens. Sleep paralysis can be very frightening and scary. It, it typically happens, um, to people in their like late teens, you know, or early adulthood, um, but it can happen at any age. It typically is pretty sporadic, like it happens once in a while. But but there are people who have sleep paralysis more frequently. General advice, generally speaking, uh, sleep paralysis is not harmful. Um, if it's something that happens every now and every now and then, really nothing to worry about. It should not. Be driving your insomnia or cause you to have insomnia. If somebody has uh, sleep paralysis and they're extremely sleepy all the time, that makes you think of a condition called narcolepsy. Uh, but that is, uh, you know, very, very few of those people who have sleep paralysis have narcolepsy. For most people, it's just a sporadic occurrence, something that kind of randomly happens here and there. Uh, there are people who have. Um, sleep paralysis more frequently to a point where it's disrupting. I um, know that you can use like an, an um, antidepressant medication. Antidepressant medications often um, reduce REM sleep and can help with this. I've so far in my like eight years practicing sleep medicine, I've not once prescribed uh, <clears throat> an antidepressant for, for sleep paralysis. So I believe that is, it's rare that it happens so often that you have to prescribe a medication for it. Um, that was a little bit about sleep paralysis. Hope you found this helpful. If you have trouble sleeping, questions about sleep or insomnia, or you wanna reach out to me for 
any reason, um, leave a comment. Hope to see you back here very soon. Until then, bye-bye.